Yo, yeah, what is up, guys? Forever here, and today we're going to shift gears on the channel, and we are going to start working on popping up videos that are about games coming out weekly um, going forward. Because the games that I normally play, the games that I wanted to do my channel based on, are games that just aren't coming out fast enough. Let's be honest. Um, I haven't seen the MMOs come out for console in a very long time, and the ones that I that I am playing on console are currently pretty much dead. Um, and the ones that are there, I don't play. So we're going to go ahead and take a shift and just start covering games that are coming out weekly until we get some more information on the games that I'm actually waiting to play come out. But this is still going to be a PS4 and PS5 centered channel. And going forward, I'll still be uploading my gameplay videos and commentary videos, so we'll be thoroughly entertained. Speaking of entertainment, our first game on the menu is going to be Space Mercenary Defense Force. Now, if you're as old as I am, you remember the Raiden Fighter games. Space Mercenary Defense Force, however, touts itself as a sci-fi action roguelike game where you defend the planet from the invasion of alien monsters. You can equip your ship with directional module slots with various module types such as explosive, defensive, deployable, beam, and more. Featuring over 600 upgrades with unique progression and via branching paths, you can make each run different and unique with your choices. Complete optional random encounters like fighting mini bosses or charging a conduit to earn rewards and further level up your ship. Or you can spend your hard-earned credits on new ships, skins, permanent astral upgrades, and objectives to complete the unlock ship perks and celestial modifiers. Let me know in the comments if you plan on hopping into this single-player roguelite adventure. Space Mercenary Defense Force releases on May 1st on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Next up is Armed and Gelatinous Couch Edition. This game calls itself the party game to end all party games. Armed and Gelatinous is a fast-paced couch competitive multiplayer space shooter that pits friends and family against one another in a wide variety of chaotic game modes. Control one of the four of extraterrestrial blobs in the far reaches of space, sticking your gelatinous body to a plethora of weapons discarded by planet Earth. It's like, what if I got reincarnated as a slime comes to Earth, I guess? But players should be where your blob will grow bigger and slower with each weapon absorbed, trading agility for firepower. Either stay small and dash to victory, or increase your arsenal to engulf the enemy. Select specific loadouts of weapons and items fully for customizable, stock matches or death matches and time matches or team up and throw down in blob soccer blob bombardment or blob blitz armed and gelatinous couch edition drops onto playstation 4 and playstation 5 on may 2nd also releasing on may 2nd is moto gp 24. now the moto gp series is a very long running series so those who play the game know what they're expecting I'm not gonna lie i'm not a big sports gamer fan when it comes to realistic sports uh so the ambiance of this is lost on me However, I do know people that do love these type of games. Maybe if it was VR, then I'd probably take a look into it. But going through the notes, I don't see anything about VR on it, so... Maybe sometime in the future, who knows? But of course, games like this are going to have your campaign mode, your online play mode, maybe your couch co-op mode. And now because the internet is much more available to people, they're doing live services. So I expect to see something like live seasons or live campaigns to start a game like this. But let me know in the comments if MotoGP is your type of game. Or if you play sports games at all. Like I said, I don't play it. I don't really see the appeal in it. But people like what they like. Also releasing on May 2nd, more of my style of game, is going to be Slash. I know it sounds like I'm pronouncing it funny, but there's a C in there for some reason. So I'm just going to say it how I think it sounds. Slash is a 2D plug-and-play samurai fighting game full of tension where one hit is enough to kill. Where you will play as a trained samurai and dual foes in epic fights where each move will count. Now the art style for this game is actually pretty unique. You are playing as a hand-drawn samurai and you're fighting other hand-drawn samurai in these duels to the death. Yes, there's a local two-player mode because that's all you guys care about and online multiplayer mode as well as a story mode. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments about Slash. Slash? Slash? Once again, on May 2nd, we have Who's Your Daddy, which is finally coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Who's Your Daddy is a casual multiplayer game featuring a clueless father attempting to prevent his infant son from certain death. Play with up to seven of your friends and test your parenting skills in a competitive setup with wacky physics and over 69 ominous household items. Now, this to me seems like one of those weird, fun party games that like people will sit around and play just to have degenerate fun, but I'm um, not really doing anything serious and just be goofy because there is nothing actually serious about this game. The physics in this game look ridiculous. The ad for this game looks ridiculous. Everything about this game just looks ridiculous. I have nothing else to say about this besides it's ridiculous. To be honest, depending on the price, I pick up this game just to have fun with it with my wife. But we'll see what happens when it comes out on May 2nd. 
Let us know in the comments if you plan on being a father at any point in time past May 2nd. Well, it's a quick time to pick up a baby, but... Now, moving out of May 2nd, finally coming into May 3rd, we have A Tale of Paper Refolded. In A Tale of Paper Refolded, you are a magical piece of paper named Line. And using origami, Line can transform into a frog, a rocket, a bird, and more, as Line embarks across an emotional journey to fulfill the dream of its creator. Now, I know what you're thinking. This looks like Little Nightmares. Well, it takes a lot, and I mean a lot of inspiration from Little Nightmares. Um, it's not made by the same company at all, but it looks pretty similar to Little Nightmares. I mean, the difference is very... It's, it's thinner than line. That being said, the gameplay in the story could be very different. As we've seen games in the past that come out with the same graphics as other games, but tell a wildly different story, and they're no less of a game. Once again, A Tale of Paper Refolded comes out on May 3rd. Let us know in the comments if you're going to be picking that up. And last but not least, releasing on May 3rd is Cyber Citizen Shockman 3, The Princess from Another World. In Cyber Shockman 3, Sonya and Arnold battle a new mysterious enemy on a new mysterious console, the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. <laughs> See what I did there? So this game was originally released back in 1992, and it's just finally getting ported over to the current day consoles. I think it's really neat when they bring back these games from the past, just for people that have the nostalgia that want to play these games again, but don't have the ability to play these games because they don't have the original systems to play these games on. Just like when I'm old and gray, I'm going to be wanting to sit back and play Final Fantasy X again, and I'm not going to have a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 5 to play it on. And by that time, we're probably on the PlayStation 50 or something. But the game does boast brand new translations as well as an image gallery of handmade scans, as well as the ability to affect the save states of the game. Like I said, it's always fun when our retro games get rebooted or um, ported up to the newer consoles and left in their, you know, their former glory just so we can enjoy them as the way they were. Let me know in the comments, did you play Cyber Citizen Shockman 3 back in 1992 when I was two years old? Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the future. Let me know if any of these games are going to catch your interest in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.